trials. So I am in Young Harris, Georgia, in North Georgia, about three hours from home. Um, and I just completed my morning work duty for round three of STRA 2023. Um, had a good time. Uh, met some new people and saw some some interesting rides. It's a little it's a little slick out there. They had rain earlier this week and last night, and it was super foggy and moist this morning. Still kind of a little drizzly, um, but the sun is coming out now. It's going to be a beautiful day. Might get a little warm. Um, so I'm riding. Uh, in the afternoon today, um, taking a break. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to fire up my uh, uh, camp stove and make a dehydrated meal, which is going to be my dinner tonight, but I think I might make that now because I'm hungry. I didn't have breakfast. All I've eaten today is a Cliff Bar. And I've been here since about 8.30, and right now it's about 12.30. Also, I'm waiting for my buddy Todd. He's on his way. He's going to hang out this afternoon and we may go to dinner and camp here. And then uh, he's going to ride his first trials event tomorrow in the novice class. So I'm pretty excited for that. It's going to be a good time. These are left over from the Transamerica Trail. I heard it was something like 70 riders. Seems like a lot. I guess that could be true. Um, get my mic in place here. So, <clears throat> intermediate class, who I'm riding with here, we are on our way to section seven. We're doing a shotgun start, you know. Everybody kind of spaces out. Um, now for me, this is the section that I was just checking. So I've, uh, I've already looked at it a lot. There's a really gnarly ditch down here that the uh, champs and experts and advanced guys have to go through. This was just crazy looking, but for intermediate, we sort of hug this left ribbon and we see these guys walking. We, uh, It's just a turn around this uh, fallen tree. And then uh, we have one gate here. Between those intermediates and then right out. We already have a... Already got a rider. Oh, There's a lot of people in... A lot of people on the intermediate line. The only real challenge in this section for us is uh, that log right there. Get over that log and then a sharp left turn. Trademark. That's my trademark move there is a five. Terrible start. That was a um, That was a lot tighter than I thought it was going to be. I thought I was just going to be able to roll right through that. First section jitters. Get warmed up here. Haven't practiced, didn't warm up. What do you expect? But, 
killing the motor. That's that's something I gotta quit doing. But this loop is super muddy. Look at this. Just watch where this guy goes. All right, so it looks like we drop in here, up this creek. Holy cow. Up this. All right, none of these are intermediate, so those don't belong to us. So, in fact, we don't even need to go up there at all. We just come in here. We just come along through this one log. Up here, over this tree. That's it, two gates. Right now I'm in the section. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh god. Okay. What the hell? Damn, a stall. I know. Yeah. Second one. Second stall. Yep. Yeah. Going for a record. That's two. That's twice. Why am I doing that so much? All right. I see an intermediate gate up there. These are not us, so we have to go between these two. Up this rock. And it looks like like up these slippery rocks and uh, somehow around this slimy turn out to the end it is just mud out to here Uh, wrong. <sighs> Jesus. Uh, Try almost halfway. Thank you, man. All right, we're at one now. I'm gonna wager that we stay up here. There's a sportsman gate. None of those are us. There's a novice gate. So it means we have to drop down. Yeah. Looks like it. So we drop down into the creek. And just try to get through that 
creek, which I do see rocks in it. So like a bouncy line and then see what Okay. And then we will uh I'm thinking we just ride the left hand ribbon. Second gear. Honestly, this first turn could be pretty challenging. Not too bad. Thank you. I'm on the board, first clean. They've all been a little tricky. A little slick too. Right. Come in here. Let's see. I see a intermediate gate right there. Hi. One gate. Okay. I could take it tight like that. Or I could come down here. I take a wider turn. I think I'm gonna try that. Gonna come in, drop down this hillside. I'm gonna aim for that little green leafy tree, that slab rock. Try to make a wider turn. And if that's bad, then I'll try the sharp turn next time. gear That's the line. That's the line. All right. That's good. Two cleans. Shaking the nerves off. See an intermediate right there. See an intermediate here. 
Okay, so I'm riding intermediate. So we come here. I see it. Thank you. This way. Take all of this space. Maybe even up here. Slide it this way. I hug this hillside between the guy straight up. Oh, this is the end, beginning and the end, okay. This is the beginning and coming this way to the end. So, that one and that, that one. That way, and once you pass that second and the end, it's a hard lap. Okay, I'm going to do 180. Come back with Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to come back up the entrance. Okay. So here, here, hard turn, slide it down probably to the bottom. And ride this line all the way out to the gate. Or we're on, I'm on uh, two cleans and four fives. Toosie. I think I can get it next time. Yeah, if you've had the, the hard car, number four, you got a two. Yes, sir. Thank you. Mud. I know some of these sections are kicking my butt, but I really should have cleaned that last one. I did the hard stuff. Just sliding down that hill. Slippery. Wow. This place is pretty incredible. Look at this, okay. Here, intermediate. You've got a gate right past it. I see it. Thank up you. Up the bank, and then the gate off the bank. Yep. So we just hang the left side ribbon, and then up between these two, which for me is going to be right there where people have ridden in the dirt, across the top. Looks like a drop down the hill over here. First gear. Thank you. Number five. Thank you so much. I see that one there. Yeah. Okay. Where's the guardrail? 
it is very grippy. In there. Okay, good. So good. I look a little sketchy, but it is very grippy. <laughs> to do this. I believe I'm going to take it up here. Yeah. Yeah. Throw it down. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this looks worse over there than over here. Just don't get down on the Exactly. Okay. I'm game. Not bad. Thanks, man. That one's pretty easy, too. Thank you. Sorry, didn't mean to headbutt you. <laughs> Yeah, I had 22 on my front. Awesome. Oh, you suck. You suck. Yeah. In the line. Why do I keep doing that? Come on. Dude. Right ribbon through two gates, sharp left turn, down to the bottom. Once again, I forgot to uh, push record. 
it's hard to remember. I just rode up to number five. There was nobody there and I just rode through it. So I got to clean on that one. That was the easy one that's just kind of straight in and up a hill and down. So now I'm back to number six. Thank you. Second loop. Yeah, the loop is getting much drier now compared to this morning, or not this morning, compared to then when we started. slippery in here. thought my buddy Angelo was gonna come ride down from Asheville on his Royal Enfield and camp with us that would have been great he said he had too much work to do I understand let me look at this one again real quick Thank you. Yeah, I got a hold of beer, mark a car. She ate. Life is rough. Second year. What I do? There's a right there. Uh, let me go look at it again. I, I remember it from last time, but I did. You need to, I guess, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, wipe the mud off the of car. I didn't remember it, it's my fault. Where's the one I missed? Oh, on the log there. See, I knew there was a reason why I was looking down here. Because that's where I was supposed to be. Um, taking a little break uh, before I start my third loop and I was just checking my text messages from Todd um, he's about an hour away so I think I'll be finished before he gets here um, but he should he should make it in time to see some of the champ rides and stuff anyway it's turned out to be a beautiful day um, a little bit warm but not bad and uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to get out there. Nine cleans this time.
number one. Thanks for checking, man. Thanks for checking, guys. Thanks, Larry. Bummer. Bummer. <sighs> I know I cleaned that at least once. Thanks for checking, man. Thank you for checking. Thanks for working. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for checking y'all. Appreciate it. Bummer. That's the hardest one. I could ride that one eh, 10 times, maybe never clean it. But you're not supposed to clean everything. Thank you for checking. I got a one. Thanks for your working, man. I took a dumb dab. Could have cleaned it, didn't. It's all on me. It's not the section's fault. It's not the bike's fault. It's not the scorer's fault. It's not the dirt's fault. Just all on me. 
couldn't keep my feet up. Lovely. Okay, so through four sections, I have two fives and a one. Six points, 11 points. Not good. Thanks for working. Thank you for checking. Thanks for checking. Thanks for working today. Rolled, rolled straight up to a section and just rode through it and it was number seven and I cleaned it real pretty. Very happy. Very pleased. Um, finally got that last turn kind of dialed, leaning the bike. So I have uh, two more. Thanks for checking, man. man that section three is eating you guys. It is. It's a hard one. It's the only one, but you guys are gonna have a close day. We got lots of zero. Oh uh, yeah. Three and that one there. Cool. <laughs> be a fight. Right on. How's Paul doing? He's good. He's doing good. He's yeah. on his last loop. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, he's having a lot of fun. That's what counts. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent.
Thanks for checking. Thanks for checking, man. Good deal. Sweet. John? Yes, Mark. It's been quite a long time. This is, this is great. the old reunion of, of old trials right Oh, yeah. I didn't know who you were until I said you Yeah. Last time I seen him, you were on the cover of the Harmon magazine on your cub. Last loop, I didn't didn't get where I wanted to be. I had let me see two fives, uh, either a one or a two, and six cleans. So that was like it, it was a lap. I had six six cleans, and I, I can't remember. Anyway, that's not going to be very good today because there's no po there's no scorecard scoring up yet. But um, a couple of guys I talked to were and then, you know had scores like six, five, you know three. Guy was, that turned his card in right in front of me took a he had eight cleans and one three last loop. I just couldn't do it. Um, I feel like. My riding wasn't terrible um, as far as my turning abilities and for the most part reading sections um, you know I had a lot of guys that were punching my scorecard tell me that you know that it, it was a good ride or I mean a lot of times people say that but they were they were very complimentary which was nice um, but my number one score killer is uh, is uh, stalling the motor out a lot. Um, probably half of my fives today, over half of my fives that I collected today were because I just in the section and just let it choke down. So it's a technique problem I've got to work on. Um, it's kind of like my golf game, which is, by the way, dead forever. Uh, I could develop the chipping yips <clears throat> where I could, I was hitting the ball pretty decently. I got where I was shooting in the 80s consistently. Um, worked my handicap down to like 10 at one point. And then something happened and I developed the, the chipping yips where I could not chip the ball. And it was bad. I took lessons, nothing helped. Um, I would have rounds where, you know, I would have a great tee shot, uh, approach iron, not too bad. I'd be a little bit off the green in two as a par four. And I would end up with like a nine because it would take me four chip shots to get on the green or something. Um, there he is. There he is. Anyway, that that's kind of like the dilemma I have right now with the Stalling the motor. The man of the hour. Mr. Hicks. You're the man of the hour. Look at him pulling up with his new bike. Hold up. Good to I see you, dude. Good to see you too. Heck yeah, man. I just finished. <laughs> oh, was, it was uh, tough, man. It was tough. Was, uh... I think everybody's gonna be jealous of this ramp. The step ramp gave you Step ramp, yeah, stepramp.com. <laughs> Get the set up here. Our campsite started. Todd will be over there. And uh, here's my tent. First time using it since uh, Sealy Lake on the continental divide. And I 
forgot that it was in the saddlebag that got melted. So it was all scorched. And I had to carefully peel it apart without ripping a hole in the rain fly. But it's solid.